Today I'm going to be reviewing some sauces that just showed up at my house one day all the way from Ankeny, Iowa. This is Wild Man Jack's Premium Pepper Sauce. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce review. Now this one today just showed up at my door uh, all the way from Ankeny, Iowa. This is Wild Man Jack's Premium Pepper Sauce. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into these. Here's what it says on the side of the bottle. Use Wild Man Jack's on everything except ice cream. Wait. We'll let you decide. Yeah, this might be good on ice cream. All right. Let me go ahead and read what it says about them on their website. You can find them at wildmanjacks.com. It says, uh, Wild Man Jack started in our very own kitchen. Every year we planted a garden that yields more produce than we know what to do with. We began giving away what we couldn't eat, and it became somewhat of a tradition for our family and friends. One day we ended up with an absurd, absurd amount of habaneros and ghost peppers. All right, two of my favorites. One might call it a pep predicament, a pep predicament. Meanwhile, we had been on a search for our favorite hot sauce. A surplus of peppers plus a lack of lovable sauces equals a pers perfect recipe for Wild Man Jacks. Make your own, right? It took us two years of trial and error to nail down our secret sauce, pun intended. Once we had a sauce worth sharing, we created focus groups with anyone willing to try it. The feedback we got from everyone was overwhelmingly positive, and thus the origin of our particular palatable pepper sauce. What's with the name? For starters, we believe our sauce will have your taste buds going wild in the best way possible. We also believe our name should be kept close to home because it's a family business. When our grandson Jackson was born, he was a tiny ball of energy. So we gave him the nickname Wild Man. And we've been calling him Wild Man Jacks ever since. Our pepper sauce is guaranteed to spice up any gathering just like Jacks. All right, that is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, I decided to go ahead and review all three. Uh, they have a mild, and they also have a medium. And they also have a hot. So we're going to be talking about all three of those in the same review today because it's basically the same flavor profile. Uh, sodium is listed at uh, 210 milligrams, but that is for a tablespoon serving size. So divide that by three and you're back down to 70, which is, uh, you know, quite normal for a uh, pepper sauce. Now, here's the ingredients on this one, guys. I love this flavor combination. It seems like it's got just a little bit of any, everything in here. But we start off with peaches. And then we have pear juice, uh, or peaches, which is peaches, water, and pear juice concentrate. Let me say it that way. Then we have vinegar, molasses, brown sugar, water, salt, habanero peppers, mustard, and I won't read what's in that. Uh, then we have garlic, black pepper, spice, liquid smoke. Um, yeah, liquid smoke. That's it. And xanthan gum. So that's the flavor profile. Now, what they do with the medium, I think they just add more habanero peppers. But in the hot one, they have added ghost pepper powder. So that brings up the heat on that one. But uh, let's look at this consistency. Look at that. You can see the black pepper in there. Love the color on this one. I love the consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. Just kind of falls into that category like that. But look at that. You can see those, the black pepper in there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, note the aroma on this one. Now, it seems like it's got a lot going on. It's, uh, it smells savory. It smells a little sweet. It smells a little bit uh, smoky. So it's got a lot of the lot going on. All right, let's go ahead and check out the mild for you. Looks like it has tomatoes in it or tomato paste, but it doesn't have any of that in there. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. This is super delicious, guys. Really nice flavor profile. Um, you get the peaches a little bit. You get some sweetness. Um, you get some spices, you get the black pepper, 
Um, you get some savory notes from the uh, the garlic that's in here. It's not overly sweet like you would think because of the you know the brown sugar and the molasses and and all of that. You get kind of a little bit of a mustard vibe as well, so it's got a little bit of everything going on. I really like that about it. Let's check out the medium one here. Um, yeah, the medium, basically the same consistency as you can see. Looks pretty much the same. But let's taste this one. I would probably give um, the mild a uh, two out of 10 for heat. Let's check out the medium. This may be just a little bit thicker. Here we go. Now, they've dialed it up just a little bit with the habanero peppers, because you're definitely getting more of a, of a sting, a little bit more of a burn from the habanero peppers. It's just moved up in the list of ingredients, but basically the same list of ingredients, the same flavor, but this one's definitely spicy. But I like this combination, a little bit sweet, a little bit smoky, a little bit savory, a little bit spicy. It seems like it's got a lot going on. You get the mustard just a little bit. Not overly sweet at all. All right, here we go with the hot one. As you can see, looks the same. You can see all the black pepper. This one's got the uh, ghost pepper powder in there. Now the aroma on this one, I think I can pick up on the ghost peppers in here a little bit. You're getting, it's more of a rich aroma. Definitely more of a spicy aroma to it. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Wild Man Jack's Hot Premium Pepper Sauce. All right, here we go. Now this one's dialed up in the heat, definitely. You feel the ghost pepper burn a little bit. Before I forget, I'd probably give the medium a three out of 10 for heat. This one, I can definitely get the ghost peppers in here. It got that little bit more of a smoky, uh, earthy ghost pepper type flavor. I get that. Um, I would probably put this one at a solid four, uh, maybe a low five, but I'll just go with a solid four out of 10. So two, three, and four. Uh, for the Wild Man Jack's Premium Pepper Sauces, I really dig this flavor profile, guys. It's really delicious. So um, I'll show you a couple of pictures. I, started, I had the mild and the medium on some pizza, and uh, the sauce is very, very good on pizza. Uh, but I had the hot on a uh, breakfast sandwich. I had a Linder's bagel uh, with sausage, egg, and cheese. And uh, Wild Man Jack's um, is really good on eggs, on breakfast sandwiches. So highly recommended sauces, guys. Check them out <coughs> Excuse me at wildmanjacks.com. That link will be down in the description. Shannon, thank you so much for sending your products. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.